Welcome to Tara One Love Coach channel. Today I will be doing a past life reading for Leo. Hello my Leos out there. Thank you for viewing my channel. Here you are welcome to explore the path of our past life, of your past life. Leo's. And with the past life, it's for those of you who believe that you had another life before this one. Uh, past life regression, going backwards, or reincarnation, if those of you who believe in reincarnation. But this is will be a past life reading, and we're going to go on a journey. And on this journey, we're going to hear what are the messages from spirit, from our past life, and how it relates to our current life, in this life, today. So let's get started on this journey. And hear the messages from spirit. So just relax, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and let's see where we will go. Father. So here we are, for some of us have a possible past life connection with a father figure, someone that we admire and that we feel very connected to in our past life. This father can speak about a past life experience where you have felt very close or had some type of deep connection with the father figure. But I feel like it's someone that has guided you on your way, that has taught you many things, and that has inspired you. Now I'm getting a flash of some type of work. Okay, it looks like in this past life, I feel, Leo, that you might have had such a great closeness in regards to being around a father figure and working along a side a father figure. So I'm getting an energy of a very close bond that you have with someone. And it could be someone that you look up to as a father figure as well, that has taught you many things and has shared much wisdom with you. So I feel like this connection is very strong. I feel like in some situations there might have been
there might have been some type of separation in some situations or a longing I feel for that father figure energy but I feel like this is someone who's taught you many things and you held many memories you may have had some type of separation or the relationship might have been strained in some situations but for others, the relationship might have been close. So let's move a little bit further and see how the message unclose, I'm, I'm sorry, unfold with our past life. Father. Father, karmic relationship, so with karmic relationship, I feel like this is a situation where if there were challenges, there might have been challenges that were difficult to work through. There might have been some hurtful challenges or you might have been going through some type of emotional hurt or emotional pain with a related father figure in your past life. And I feel like there could have been reminders with karmic relationships from your past life in regards to a father figure. Now, if there was a close relationship, I feel that it made the relationship very loving and very close. Sort of like a soulmate type of relationship. But a, a lot of this may stem from a connection in regards to your relationship with a father figure or your father in a past life. If it was a negative relationship with a father energy in your past life, it might have affected you as growing up having a positive relationship. So pain could have been brought over from the relationship in a past life with a father figure might have made current relationships in a past life strained, might have felt a sense of abandonment if you were not close to your father in a past life. But if it's a relationship that worked and you have that closeness, you feel the same closeness here with 
the karmic relationship. Now the first row is the past life, if I, if I didn't say that earlier. The second row will be your present life. Sorry about that. So let's go a little bit farther on this row in our past life and see where we land. So, so far in a past life, spirit is bringing out a message of relationships and family ties as well. We have the high priestess are the high priest or priestesses. So there could have been some spiritual ties there, a, a, a spiritual union there in a past life. This might have been uh, an area from what I'm seeing here uh, that you moved into actually. being a person of spiritual awareness with the high priestess or high priest. So there's some spiritual elements here with this past life. Father, figure, relationship and karmic relationship. So it had some connection, the high priestess had some connection in a past life and this connection seems to be um, evolving around religion or spirituality. I feel like you had some type of um, spiritual sense about you as well. I feel like it's something that you might have gotten from your father as well. It might have been a passed on generation, um, something that was passed on from generation, something that was um, passed on, but something that was traditional, tradition, I feel like. So I feel like you actually had not only this relationship with a father figure, but also a spiritual bond that you have. I feel like it was something that you raised, was raised up in. So there was a very close connection here with a father figure that also really um, either enhanced your relationship with your partner but I feel like this is what you evolved into I feel like also from what I'm seeing here is like there was a calling that you had in a past life some type of spiritual calling that you had So there is a connection with spirituality, channeling the spirits from beyond, currently. There could be some visitations. I feel like you're diving into, there might be some dealings with an actual, this could be something, a tool that you use possibly, 
But this could be something that is connected with the past life because I see a bit of spirituality here. I feel also that for some of you may sense certain type of energies that possibly could be around. I feel like you, I feel like something is, um, and not to appear spooky or anything like that, but I feel like for some, I feel like some of us or some of you um, feel some types of signs or see things, okay? Spiritually, with the spiritual eye, because you have that ability of the high priestess. So this is a spiritual person. This is a person, the high priestess, is the person, I always call the high priestess the mother of secrets, but I feel like there is some secrets that are still, are spirits that could be still giving out answers or answers to your questions. So I feel like there is a connection there, even spiritually, possibly with spirit guides. Um, but it says be uh, cautious not to go too deep, not to, if you're uncomfortable about something or if you feel uncomfortable, your spirit guides are surrounding you and protecting you. So let's move a little bit further. Wishbone. Whatever what you wish for, says make a wish. Make the affirmation, the things that you desire. Make the affirmation on those things that you desire. Now, I feel like there's a connection here with like a soulmate type of relationship or a past. It's a, this is a past life relationship, but I feel it's something very deep or someone you already may know um, in regards to relationship that gives you that karmic type of experience or that soul energy type of experience when it comes to um, relationship. I feel like it's something that you are longing for as well. With the Uji board, I feel like it's just the energies that you may experience are some type of things that you do see or sense, not necessarily see with your eyes, but you can sense it with your spirit. And I feel like there are some parental daddy type, um, past life issues that may have, that may, that you may deal with now in your physical life as well. I feel like there's still some type of spiritual connection with a parental relationship here. It says, um, father. I feel like it's something, someone you talk to. Um, but I feel like this is a spirit guide as well. Like you have a spirit guide that's kind of guiding you as well. So I'm seeing a spiritual type of energy here when it comes to 
the Father. But I also feel in spirit that there's a longing for this very close relationship um, that you desire. And I feel like your spirit, the universe is saying, make the affirmation, make that wish so it, it will come to pass. So I feel like there's a longing desire and this may have to do with that soulmate karmic type of relationship okay um dreams incubation things that are being formed and created so i feel like with the spiritual energy here I feel like this is, a, again, a spirit guide watching over you, but it's a spiritual energy giving you the gifts and wisdom and knowledge that you already have. It may have a lot to do with dreams, things that you see. I also feel that this energy is connected to this energy in a way because for those of you who are very close to a father figure, are connected or have a father, possibly um dribbling over in your in your physical life there could be a relationship or a closeness that you have um with your father or if it's someone that crossed over already you may still deal with the energy on a very spiritual level here and it may come in the forms of dreams and visions okay but there are a lot many things here it says incubation here so things i feel like this with incubation i feel like this is um coming also from the high priestess i feel like it's um very unique gifts that you have very spiritual gifts that you have as well and you are honing in on them and making them better or perfecting your gift as well also for some of you trying to understand your gift as well okay so this is how it relates in your current life as well but i feel like there's a spiritual connection to the other side as well also to your past life because your past life energy um you'll see signs in your current current present life and that's what i'm seeing here for you leo so soulmate type of energy karmic relationship type of energy that may stem from the closeness that you have with your parents your father especially and there's a spiritual energy here um as well you may also have that gift of intuition as well that's dribbling over here and with these energies. But I also feel spirits say make the affirmation because you have that um, ability and gift to see things manifest as you speak it into existence. So that's a very powerful thing also, Leo. Well, this concludes the past life reading. Thank you for going along with me on this journey, Leo, and hopefully you've received some messages or got something out of the reading. Until next time, signing out, Tara.